Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Crash Bandicoot 2. So last time we left off, we finished the last two levels on that second floor, and we defeated the boss, the Komodo Brothers, which was went really well. It was first try. It was a really easy boss, though. Kind of almost easier than Ripper Roo, in a sense, because it was just kind of going in circles. But I gotta say, I am enjoying the bosses much more in this, because they're not as, like, the patterns aren't so random. I can deal better if it's, like, a pattern that if you follow the pattern every time, you're pretty much golden. Whereas the other ones, it was just like, they were almost random in a sense, even though I know they were patterned, but it was like hard to get down because it was so over the place. But anyways, I'm like rambling at this point. So yeah, we're going to continue. Yeah, Coco, get excited. So yeah, we're, we're going to continue on into this new area. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to keep up the pace and hopefully keep the momentum going. So yeah, remember to like the video if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more. But without further ado, let's go get some plant food. I love the portal thing. It's so cute. I like the little animations. This game has such, like, lively animations. You know, no offense to them, but I really think Pokemon could take a little thing or two from them. Where basically, you know, make your animations a little more. They don't have to be, like, amazing, and they can repeat some of them. Just make them a little more, like, alive, I guess. You know, because they add so much personality whenever they... That was weird. She, like, touched it, it stopped, and she died. But anyways, you know... That is one of my complaints about Pokemon. I gotta say, Legends Arceus had, like, amazing animation. Like, it was a huge step up from the previous games, don't get me wrong. So I absolutely loved it. It did have its flaws, so it wasn't perfect. But yeah, it definitely... I don't know what that was about. I guess she wanted to go for a swim. Yeah, I highly recommend Legend Arceus, by the way. If you're into Pokemon and you want something that kind of breaks from the normal formula, it is such a good game. I, I can't recommend it enough. I, like... Whatever it came out, I just couldn't put it down for days. I loved it so much. Are you serious? So this is the start you're gonna give me, huh? Yeah, I, I did that to myself. <laughs> I figured there's no point. We're getting low on lives, so it doesn't really matter at this point, right? But anyways, I know just randomly start talking about Pokemon, but yeah, I'm really excited for... Um... Why is my timing so off? I am very excited, though, for Scarlet and Violet, which, again, if you guys want to see me do a playthrough on it, let me know, because I am getting the game, I'm for sure. I have it pre-ordered and everything. I'm so excited for it. I'm hoping that it changes enough, because it, I am a little disappointed. It looks like they didn't fix some of the animation issues, and I was really hoping it would go more of the Legend Arceus style, but I also know it's been in development way before Legends Arceus. Arceus? Arceus. I keep saying Arceus. It's Arceus, right? Not Arceus. But anyways, it was... This is going to be one of those levels where it's those precise tiny jumps where you got time and jump. Okay. Over. Yeah, I don't really care what you have to say. You're not stressing me out today. Anyways. But I know that it was probably in development like way before Arceus ever came out, you know what I mean? So it's like, I understand why it isn't the same mechanics and everything, but if they really could have just went with the same like catching mechanics and everything and battle system and everything, Arceus had such an amazing system for that. They did a really great job with it. It was... What was that? She was like on it and then back locked off of it. I don't know what's going on with these little jumps. I mean, I appreciate the mask guys, but it's not going to help me because I'm falling in water. Unless... It would be nice if they had to do like where it kind of makes you jump up. If that makes sense, where it's like if you hit a death zone, you would like kind of bounce up and get a chance to, you know, get out of the death zone. That would be nice. But no, they're not going to be nice. <laughs> but yeah... But again, let me know if you want to see me do a Let's Play, though, on Pokemon Violet. I'm, I'm not getting- I'm getting Violet, by the way. I just kind of said that there, but yeah, I'm getting Pokemon Violet. I, I'm hoping- and I think I've talked about this before, but, um... Pokemon Sun and Moon had a thing where basically the clothing colors you could buy were based on the version you picked, as well as the day and night cycle, which makes sense for that- oop, I wasn't paying attention. Which made sense for the game, you know, because it's just like, oh, Sun and Moon, if you have Moon, days are nights and nights are days, which I didn't like so much because I had Moon. It made it kind of hard to play because I usually play in, like, the afternoon, so it made it kind of annoying. I'm more of a morning person than a night person, so I never really got daytime in my game. But, um, anyways, they also had where clothing, the color of clothing you were allowed to buy was determined by, um, was determined by your game, right? And so, basically, if you had sun, you could buy, like, sun-colored things, so, like, oranges, reds, etc. If you had moon, you were able to buy... I knew that was gonna happen. You could buy, like, colors, like, purples and blues and stuff, which was fine with me, because I, I prefer blues and purples. Those are, like, my favorite colors. But, um... 
I hope they don't do- I looks almost like they might be doing something similar with Scarlet and Violet, which has me a little disappointed just because of the fact that I don't like being limited on uh, customization options. So that's about the only thing that has me a little worried. But other than that, I am pretty excited for it. It looks like it's going to be very interesting. I like the, the concept they're going for and everything. And the whole- oh, really? I hit the X button to boost over that, so I don't know why she didn't boost. But yeah, I'm hoping because the whole open world concept where basically... That was way too close for comfort. Um, the whole open world concept where basically you can do the... What that sucked. And I was so close to having another life too to do the one foot through, but oh well. But anyways, um, what was I saying? I just totally drew him like a one. Oh yeah, um, basically the whole open world concept of basically you can do the story in any order and everything, and that basically, um, you can do different quests and everything. They really are trying to go... I... Totally flubbed that. I wasn't thinking. They're totally going more of a classic RPG. Well, not classic, because it's, you know. Whoa, what the heck? That was weird. They're going more of a RPG style with it. Even though I know Pokemon's always been kind of a role-playing game, but they're going more down that route, like, a la Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild kind of thing. So, which I think is a good direction to head, because Arceus kind of did the same thing. Everyone always made the joke that, oh, it's, you know, it's, it's Pokemon Breath of the Wild, but it's just like, it actually works really well for the Pokemon formula. So... Especially because a lot of people now are, really? I really could have used that. Especially because um, people are nowadays are wanting um, Pokemon to have more of, like, a... Uh, whatchamacallit, they're wanting to have more of the, like, in the wild, the Pokemon interact with each other like animals would, and, you know, be more realistic. They want the more realistic feel and look and everything, you know? That was a little close for comfort. So I don't think it's a bad direction for them to be heading with it. So I'm just hoping that they kind of keep up that trend. A little jittery there. Up we go. So yeah, that's kind of my thoughts. I know I kind of went on about Pokemon, but like I said, I'm planning on... I've already pre-ordered it and everything, so I plan on getting it and whatnot. So again, if you guys want to see me play it, I would be happy to. I love Pokemon. If you want to see any of the other, po other Pokemon games, like I said, I pretty much own all of them. <laughs> I'm a big Pokemon fan. Which is weird, because I actually didn't get... Um, into Pokemon until I was like, I was like 13, I think, by the time I got my first Pokemon game. It was towards the middle of Diamond and Pearl and everything, and so Diamond was actually my first Pokemon game, and I absolutely loved it. I, I loved it so much, and so that's what got me really started on Pokemon. And so I think that's why Legends Arceus was like one of my favorites too, was because of the fact that, hey, it takes place in the Sinnoh region, which is like my favorite region and everything. I am a little disappointed though with the, um, I really should blow up these crates, because they count as boxes, and I'm, I might actually be able to get the gem, because I've been doing pretty good on my boxes. So I'll go ahead and blow these up. But um, anyways, I was kind of disappointed with the the Brilliant Diamond, you know, the Diamond and Pearl remakes, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. I was kind of disappointed with them. They really, like, I didn't, I was upset about the chibi art style at first, because I was really wanting, like, the style of Sword and Shield or something, or Legends Arceus even. But I was like, okay, fine, whatever, it's cute, at least the battles are still in the full 3D, but it's like, it just felt so... It felt very dumbed down, almost like a let- it was kind of almost like Let's Go, but even Let's Go had a bit more to it, in a sense. So I think that's what upset me the most, is like, like I was really looking forward to this remake, and it just kind of... I don't know, it just felt off. Like, it... It felt like they tried too hard to maybe make it more kid-friendly, even though Pokémon's already very kid-friendly? I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. Things I do for boxes, right? But yeah, I was really disappointed with it, because like I said, Diamond and Pearl were my uh, first games. I actually own both Diamond and Pearl. I never played Platinum, though, which I heard Platinum is, like, so much better, which kind of makes me sad that I never got around to playing, and now it's, like, crazy expensive if you ever want to get a used, even a used copy of it. It's, like, really hard to find. Or at least hard to find for a reasonable price. So, I don't know. Oh, thank goodness I had one of these guys.
Those crates make me so nervous. So how many boxes? Yeah, we did it. Oh yeah, I'm I'm proud of myself. Awesome guys. Good thing I went back for those TNT crates, huh? But yeah, I was really disappointed with it because I was really looking forward to it. I probably need to just play it more though. I only got like halfway through it. I think I only got like the first three or four gems done. So I probably need to play it more. But I mean, it did improve some of the stuff that was quality of life stuff too. So it's not like it was a bad game. But it definitely wasn't the best of the remakes, which kind of sucks because, like, you know, Alpha Sapphire was, like, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were really, really good. Which, that was actually my first time ever playing any of the, the third generation games. I had played, like, a tiny bit of Emerald, like, maybe 30 minutes of Emerald, but that was all I ever played of that region and everything. And so Alpha Sapphire was, like, really good to me. I gotta say, though, like, out of the newer generations, anything... Well, not even out of the newer generations. Okay, let's say out of the 3D generations, I would have to say that, like, I really love Sword and Shield, which is stupid, because I know a lot of people are just like, it's horrible, it's bad, it's, you know, it had no soul to it or whatever. It's just like, I really like Sword and Shield. I put, like, I think it was like 120 hours into it or more. I loved it. It was a ton of fun. I had a lot of fun completing the Pokédex and everything. It was really good. So I actually really enjoyed it. I gotta say, though, my probably my favorite, though, out of the 3D Pokémon games besides the spinoff, like, Arceus, is probably Pokemon X. And I don't know why, but it's just like, I, I had so much fun with them. I loved the setting. I loved a lot of the new Pokemon. I wish the Pokedex was bigger. It didn't have enough new Pokemon added, but it was probably one of my favorites. So out of the 3D ones, if we're going the 2D ones, like I said, I have a soft spot in my heart for uh, Diamond and Pearl, but I also actually really liked Black and White. It, it, I never got to play Black and White 2, which I heard is technically the better one, but I did really enjoy, ooh, Flamethrower. Okay, was not expecting that. But I did, like I said, really enjoy black and white for what I had. I liked all the concepts I went for, too. Like, the whole uh, rotating battle thing. And that it had a lot of cool concepts for new battles and whatnot. Because I was always a huge fan of double battles. Like, Colosseum and uh, XD Gale of Darkness were some of my favorite games. I played the crap out of those. They were so good. I don't think I ever beat them, though. I got, like... Oh, no. Crash, get out of the... Oh, oh this platform sinks? My invincibility frames did not last. <laughs> that totally sucked. But anyways, but yeah, so I actually greatly enjoyed Black and White. I need to play Black and White too. And again, I enjoyed Coliseum and XD. I never got to... Well, never... never got to, but um, I played... Um, I played a little bit of Fire Red whenever I was, like, really young. It was on one of those, like, kiosk things at the mall and everything, you know, where you could, like, oh, you know, you can test the game out and whatnot. They had, like, the Nintendo DS and the Game Boy ones that all set up and everything. You know, those, the, like, those are so long ago. I, do they even do those anymore? I remember they used to have the ones set up for you to, like, test the Switch, but I don't even see those anymore. So it's like they just don't do them anymore, which is kind of sad because those were always kind of fun to do, especially like, you know, go to the game section, try out the new console or the new games. It was always kind of like a little fun thing, you know? I don't like these guys. They make me nervous. But yeah, so like I said, I pretty much kind of played just about every Pokemon game. One of, oh, okay. If we're going 2D games, okay, besides Diamond and Pearl being one of my all-time favorites, I gotta say... I absolutely, that sucked, I absolutely adored Soul Silver. That was like, I played Soul Silver for like probably, I, I don't even know, I played it for two years straight probably, I mean it was like my go-to game. I, and it's because also I had Pokemon Battle Revolution and you were able to link up Battle Revolution and uh, Soul Silver and you were able to use your Pokemon from there to battle with, which was so much fun. That totally sucked. I like got totally cornered there. Which, Battle Revolution was also awesome. I remember I rented Battle Revolution, but it was back before I didn't... I wanted a 3D Pokemon game because I used to be very, like, very picky about my 2D games versus 3D games. I still kind of am, but I am a bit more open-minded about it now than I was. But um, I rented Pokemon Battle Revolution from uh, Blockbuster. And I was like, oh, this, I was oh, looking forward to it. It's like, yes, 3D Pokemon battles is going to be so much fun. It's got the generation that I like the most. It's got, you know, the Diamond and Pearl Pokemon, so like Generation 4. And so I was so excited. 
and then I realized that basically a lot of the stuff comes from linking up with the DS games. If you don't have the DS games, you're kind of limited on what you can do in it until you unlock lots of stuff, but it's kind of hard to unlock any of the stuff because the battles are too hard without the stronger Pokemon you get from bringing in your own Pokemon. And so, I remember I rented it and I was like, oh, this sucks, I hate this game, blah, 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 and it was just like, so I ended up being like, oh, I don't want the game. And then after I got Diamond and Pearl, I was like, okay, I'll give it a try again. So I rented it again, and I was like, okay, I have to get this game. Because whenever you have whenever you have the Pokemon game and you link it up, that game is a ton of fun. And I remember I used to have, like, friends over and stuff, and we would just battle Pokemon and everything. It was so, it was like, it was just such a good time. It brings back so many good memories and everything. And again, I know I'm kind of going nuts with Pokemon, but the new game is coming out so soon that it's just like, you know, got Pokemon in the brain. Wait, can you just... Oh, he can high jump just by holding circle. Oh, I wish I knew that. Learn something new, you know? I heard those nitro boxes jump up like that. It throws me off and freaks me out. But yeah, kind of my little Pokemon. Not really rant, because it wasn't anger. It was like, ah, memories, right? So that's something you guys can comment down below. What's your guys' favorite Pokemon game? Or do you have a favorite Pokemon game? Or have you ever even played Pokemon? I love to hear how many people haven't actually even played Pokemon yet. Because, you know, that, like I said, I didn't get into it until I was, like, in junior high, I think. I was, like, 12, 13, whenever I finally got to play my first Pokemon game. What's hilarious, too, is I played my first Pokemon game. And I remember that, um... I don't know what I was expecting there. Oh... <sighs> I probably gotta, I, I think I figured it out. I gotta knock them into it. That didn't happen. Oh my gosh, do not waste all your lives here, dude. But uh, what I was saying was whenever I got my, whenever I got diamond for the first time, cause I actually bought it twice. As stupid as that sounds. So I bought it twice. And basically what ended up happening was I bought it the first time, and I played it for a bit, and I only got it because I, I like watched a few episodes of the anime, and I was like, oh, this looks fun. And so, basically, what ended up happening was I really didn't like the game at first. I was like, oh, it's turn-based. Oh, how the heck do you like evolve your Pokemon? How the heck do you... Ca I didn't know what I was doing at all, and so I ended up returning because I was like, okay, I don't like this game at all. And then, like... I think it was like a year later, I got really, really, really into the Pokemon anime and everything, because that was around the time I also started getting into just anime in general. And basically, I ended up being like, oh, I really want to play Pokemon again and see if I like it this time now that I actually know what's going on and I know the Pokemon and I know what they do and all that stuff. And so I ended up going and getting it again, and it became quickly one of my all-time favorite games. Ooh, I don't know which way to go. Yeah, we'll go this way first, because it has the these things. We only need four more crates. Where are these last four crates? Okay. Did I even get the crystal? I haven't even found the crystal yet. Where's the crystal? This has got me slightly worried. Let's see. There is my crystal. Really? At least I got it back. I missed one box. Come on. Hopefully it's on the trail to the exit. Yeah, so that's kind of my Pokemon journey. I know that was kind of a long-winded explanation of it all, but like I said, in the comments below, let me know what your first Pokemon game was, or if you've ever even played Pokemon, or if you're excited for the new one, you know, let me know your Pokemon journey. But speaking of Pokemon journeys, I gotta say, I know I'm talking a lot about Pokemon, but the Pokemon journey anime, okay, I was very skeptical about it at first, because I was like, I hadn't watched um, any of the Pokemon anime since the X and Y anime, and I never even finished that one. I really should. It was really good. But, um... And so basically, I mainly got out of it because after Black and White, it kind of, the anime just kind of kept kind of going downhill. But then I finally got around to, Journeys came out, and I was like, okay, let's see how Journeys is and everything. Because it seemed, I was really into Sword and Shield, so I was like, okay, let's see, is it worth the watch kind of thing and everything. And it ended up being, like, so good. I highly recommend the anime, the Journeys anime. It is so good. 
It's very enjoyable. Yeah, there's some stuff that's very like childish in some of the episodes, but it's actually really good. And it it has so many callbacks to like past series and the different games and everything. It's just it's really good, so I highly recommend it. And so that actually got me into watching the Sun and Moon version of the anime, which I always heard was like supposed to be phenomenal and everything, which it was. It was so good. I really enjoyed the Sun and Moon anime. But I gotta say, I think my favorite is still I mean, besides Journeys, which I am so loving. I think my favorite Ooh. Gotta be quiet. Yeah, I kind of figured he was up to no good, you know? It tends to not be. Anyways, I still think that the Diamond and Pearl anime is still my favorite. But anyways, I just spent this whole episode talking about Pokemon. Sorry, but I'm kind of on a Pokemon kick right now. So it is what it is, right? But like I said, comment down below, you guys, what your favorite, you know, Pokemon game is. Your Pokemon journey, if, you have a, if you've even played the game yet, you know? That kind of thing. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this part here. Because like I said, I kind of like doing the, you know... I think three... Have I did... Did I do three levels? Didn't I say I was going to do three levels? I think I only got two this time. Oh, no, I said I was doing two levels per... Three levels per... No, I said I was doing two levels per... I can't remember. Anyways, we're going to end it there just because of the fact that we're on a roll. It took kind of a long time or... Eh, you know what? No, we're not going to end it here. We're going to... Oop, I was going to switch to Coco. We're going to try one more level. Let's see if we can get it done in a reasonable amount of time. Oh, it's another runner level. Yeah, Crash. This was definitely the right call. And on a fun note, right? I was supposed to run. Oh, but he made it anyways. Thank you, little bear. I missed a box, which makes me sad because we've been on a roll with collecting all the boxes. I gotta say, I'm quite impressed with myself being able to get all the... Okay, I think I'm gonna do the run jump there. Oh, the bear, it's so cute. He's so adorable. Okay. Okay, come on, bury me. I hit circle and X at the same time on accident because I got freaked out because I was like, aren't I supposed to run there? Yeah, crash. Not the whales. It always throws me off the like speed effects and everything. <laughs> He's taking the bear with it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was hilarious. He just, that was so cute. I love it. Again, the animations in this game, there's just so much life in them. You just can't help but like smile and laugh at them. Even whenever you're dying, right? Oh my gosh. It's a good way, too, to get lots of uh, Wumpa fruit. Ooh, that had to hurt. I kind of remember these guys, but I remember them more so from the, uh... I need to do the run jump there. From the, the level in uh, Crash Bandicoot 3, the Tiger level. That was, like, my favorite level, the Great Wall. You'll see it whenever we get there. It's in the first area, and it's like my all-time favorite level. Ooh, that was close. Almost hit my head. Oh, I thought it was far enough over. I guess it was kind of centered that time. That was on me. Sorry, bear buddy. Thank you for the crystal. Ooh, lots of jumps in a row. I missed the checkpoint box. I missed a freaking checkpoint box. Are you kidding me? Oh dear. Belly slide. I almost didn't hit jump there. That would have been so horrible. Those guys must be ripped if they're just lifting ice blocks up all day, right? Up and down, up and down. 
probably got some really strong thighs and some really great, you know, bicep muscles. What if he triceps? I don't know. Anyways. Sadly didn't get all the boxes, but you know. That was really good. Nice note to end on. Very happy level. I, I love those levels. Like I said, the, the bear running levels are always my favorite. Or the animal running levels, I guess you could say, because of the fact that there's different animals in the other games. Awesome. So, yeah. We're still keeping up our momentum, guys. That was great. So, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and end this part here. In the next part, we're gonna do these last two levels, and then it's a boss battle. So, yay. Hopefully, we'll be able to do all that in one episode as well. I'm kind of... I feel like we're doing really good pacing, too. I don't know. I'm just... I'm very happy. I'm enjoying the game now. That first one, I'm not kidding. It made me... It broke me. That game broke me, bent me over backwards, stuffed me in a bag, and threw me off a bridge. But it, like, I'm... I'm back and I'm ready. <laughs> But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!